Okay, so we set up the problem now. Um, we have our coordinate systems, Anna, Bob. Anna is in the, in the uh, tracks car moving to the right. And, um, and now, as I said, she's going to throw an object at time equals zero to the right with velocity ux prime with respect to herself, okay? Um, and it's prime because it's referen uh, the, we, we prime that, uh, that velocity because it's relative to herself. That's how we designate that. Okay, so um, the position relative to Anna and Anna's reference frame, the position of the object, this is the object, not of Anna, is equal to um, its velocity times the time. Okay, now the velocity here we're assuming is constant, ux prime is constant. We're also assuming that, that um, she throws it from her, the origin of her coordinate system so we don't have to add an x prime zero to this, okay? So the, at time equals zero, the object is at um, x prime equals zero, okay? And so we already noticed that in the classical physics, so with Galileo, Galileo's time, time is just time. There's the time in, in, in both reference frames are the same. That is t prime equals t. So there's no reason to um, to include uh, uh, t prime here. Okay, we'll see how that differs in a little while. And um, for Bob, right, he doesn't, s he sees this, this object is moving with a different velocity and has a different position, dependence, excuse me, and it's basically equal to the distance, in words, from Bob to Anna plus the distance from Anna to the object. Okay, so for him, x now is equal to velocity times time. That's that's the that's Anna's position with respect to Bob, plus the object's velocity times time, and this is now the object's position relative to Anna. Okay, so um, that's the and this you you this quantity here is just um, the object position is x prime. Okay, so we can just say that x is equal to x prime plus v t. Okay, so that's the transform. That's the position of the object in Bob's reference frame, the unmoving reference frame, uh, in terms of the coordinates in Anna's reference frame and the time. Okay. So the classical or Galilean Transform uh, transformation then is oops from s to s prime is given by what we just wrote down for x. Okay, although we've inverted it now, uh, y the y coordinates aren't any different and we already made the hypothesis basically we're treating time as, as sort of the same in both reference frames. Okay, so this is how you go back and forth between the moving and the unmoving reference frame.